The Polish Institute of Culture and Research at Orchard Lake has been hard at work since the COVID-19 pandemic, renovating one of the many historic buildings on the Orchard Lake School's campus, now known as its Galeria. I joined them for their first big event at this new facility that also went into celebrating Polish culture in a, in a unique way. For hundreds of years, buildings like this have stood valiantly in our community. For the Galeria at Orchard Lake Schools, this begins a new era, celebrating art and tradition in the heart of Orchard Lake. We're doing a soft opening for our Galeria space here, this building that we're situated in presently, uh, which has been renovated for the last two years since the pandemic. The building that we're standing in here has almost a 150 year history. Part of the military academy, I mean, it served roles as a chapel, a dining hall, even an athletic center. So really, we're so fortunate that its storied past has now led us to be this, um, this bastion of culture. The Galeria will serve as a display for fine art, while also hosting special events like this, Blooms of Tradition, a fashion show celebrating traditional Polish wares, and organized by Aleksandra Lyszewski, a locally born woman fiercely dedicated to preserving her beloved heritage. I create contemporary designs inspired by Polish folklore. I wanted to find a way to celebrate my Polish heritage. And so I came up with this concept to create very modern designs uh, using Polish folk fabrics. That's how her company, Recultured Designs, was born. And her fashion show, Blooms of Tradition, blossomed. For Reese McNutt, it was a chance for a young woman making her own history as part of the first girls graduating class at St. Mary's to connect with her family history and with other women who hold their heritage just as dear. It was very cool. I was really, I had no idea what this was going to be going into it. And this was honestly probably one of my favorite nights of my life. It was very special to be around so many women who are so in tune with their Polish heritage and their Polish culture. And just to get to talk to them and see what their backgrounds are and listen to everyone speak Polish. I think it was very cool that, you know, that we're representing our Polish culture. Recultured Designs, the Polish Institute, and Blooms of Tradition all came together to connect past and present to a vibrant future of Polish culture in Orchard Lake and beyond. The Polish people have been here for ages and we're so immensely grateful for the sacrifices and the contributions that they made to set up the Orchard Lake schools initially because now we're stewards of everything that they had put forward for us. I think it's so important that we remember the past but we also find new creative ways of celebrating the past. The Polish Institute of Culture and Research, who hosted this event at their new Galeria space, still in the final stages of its full renovation, made even more history on that night. In April of 2022, they started the, uh, their Ukrainian Relief Fund following the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. And at this event, uh, at this event recently, they reached a major milestone in their fundraising, surpassing uh, over $108,000. The fund does close at the end of this week, Friday, March 15th. If you want to help out, uh, this is helping six different organizations that are supporting Ukrainians who are, who are refugees in Poland at this time. More information can be found on the Polish Institute of Culture and Research of Orchard Lakes website at picrol.org.